Hello everyone. So some of you asked me to do a quick demo of the rotation feature of the Wacom Art Pen. So I'm working on a Cintiq 27 that is plugged into a Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. So when you hear what sounds like a hair dryer, that's actually just my Cintiq Companion fan. So don't be alarmed. Uh, it sounds louder than it really is because the microphone is right next to the fan. But it is a rather noisy computer, but you pay for the performance. Anyway, so here we are in Photoshop CC, I think it's 2015 version. And here I have a custom brush I made. And I'm rotating it with my pen in real time. highly accurate. Uh, my system's a little sluggish because I'm recording while trying to paint so it's much slower than usually looks. To set this up you go to your brush presets and shape dynamics and any brush that you want rotation you go under angle jitter here and you select control you will have tilt or all these other controls but since I have the art pin I have rotation. And here it is. Uh, you can also control the spacing of it to give some cool looking effects. I'll put it around there. I'll we'll zoom in and give you a quick demo. Again, forgive me that my computer's so slow right now. But I'm going to just do a light to heavy mark while rotating. You can see that makes a pretty interesting shape. And make it a little bigger. Oh, I'm using the mixer brush right now, uh, which is also rather computationally heavy. Um, but it also works in the regular brush. Here's just a regular brush, and I think I'm in neon green or something. But I can do a straight line or, and slowly rotate. Just like a regular brush. And when you're using the mixer brush, see what I, right now I don't only have one color sample. But let's say I want to use this color here. And let's do a complementary color. Oop. Wow, it's hard to paint when it's this slow. It doesn't help that I have a huge brush either. And maybe we'll do, I don't know, that color. Make it more pastel y. Right there. Come on, paint. Okay, so there I have some colors. So you take the mixer brush and you hold Alt, and the size of your brush determines your sample. So now I have sampled I have sampled I guess I have not sampled. I'm not sure why it's not working. I only have one layer. Oh there it goes. Probably just because it's really slow and I'm trying to use big brushes. Um, so maybe I'll go to fresh area here and zoom in so hopefully my performance will be a bit better. Smaller brush. Okay, I have my shape dynamic also set to pin pressure, rotation, and I have all those colors I have sampled being used. all at once. It's pretty cool. It's just like real painting where you can load different colors. You can also use uh, this technique with regular brushes. Uh, these are just the real media brushes. And I'll do a quick sample here. So 
go. You can see when you zoom out, it gives a real painterly look and your brain blends all this together. So it's, it's a, a lot like real painting. Um, with the regular brush, Photoshop brush tool, you can also sample photographs. Like, let's see here, I got a photograph here of some flowers that I sampled a while ago. And let's say I want to just do a quick thumbnail or speed painting and I don't want to paint a bunch of flowers. Now I'll just use this brush. And I can rotate it to give it a more dynamic feel in real time. Switch to yellow, maybe, and so slow. It's so hard that I can't really paint right now from the screen capture. Anyways, let's zoom out. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, let's use a gradient tool. We'll just do some quick playing around here. Ooh, not like that. Like this. I will go the other way. Oh, that's kind of neat. I will maybe throw some custom shapes out. Dun, dun, dun. Custom shapes. Oh, you guys are so slow. Let's try this one. Alright. Rotate canvas. You. Hard to paint when you're lagging like this. A little darker value. Just make some noise. That's a bit much, but oh well. And maybe we'll transform it. Transform it again. There we go. Throw it out here. Cool, that works for that. Pinch it in, new layer, this layer two. And then we will sample this texture here. Let's get a new texture, maybe. A new shape. And let's see, it'll be a cool shape. These are all shapes I either sample from my photography or made vector files or whatever. Uh, let's use this. It's like old building. Kind of cool. Make some noise. I'd usually be more methodical, but my system's running so slow, it's taking away some of the intuitive nature of the tools. That's okay. Alright, I'm getting tired of the slow sluggishness. Now let's go to the brush. And let's choose the mixer brush. And let's see what would be a good brush for this. Uh, sample all layers. What I like about it is, like in this case here, say I want to make this flat, I can, I just put the brush there, slowly move it out, and if I want to make it thinner, I can just turn the brush, and it goes thinner, 
You can also do a similar thing with uh, pressure. It just adds to the element. This is like shit. But anyways, you think you get the idea of what it's like to paint. You mix a brush. Um, let's see what else I want to show you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a crazy looking squiddy thing in the sky. So let's go to the... This... Color really, I can make them any color I want, but let's say this is kind of cool texture right here. So let me know if you guys have any questions that I can help answer. I personally could live without rotation and tilt, but I just found it fun to play around with. And I like how it replicates oil painting as far as loading multiple colors and being able to angle a brush and twist a brush. And it also takes computer art beyond what traditional media can do. So I think it's a, a feature that artists should definitely push to have companies support, especially with you know the new Ntrig and all of them. I think that they're really uh, lacking still because they don't have these options. Don't get me wrong, I really like my Surface Pro 4. It's a great drawing tablet and it inks very well, but. I definitely still prefer to paint on my Wacom and when I'm just screwing around playing and having fun trying to be creative I just find it to be much more interesting with all these features. So take care y'all and thanks for watching.